at all times. Any unattended baggage will be removed and may be destroyed by security services. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening, welcome to this live stream. We should be starting on time tonight at 20.30 and we will be playing the Spirit of Steam, Steam Stopping Service, trying to master the uh, vacuum brake. I'm sure it'll be tea and biscuits with the manager at some point. Please have your drinks and light refreshments Please have your drinks and light refreshments ready and we will be starting in around about seven minutes time.
Passengers are reminded that smoking is prohibited at all stations and on all train services. This includes e-cigarettes. is a safety announcement. It is not permitted to cycle, skateboard, or rollerblade within the station building. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Dad Rouse stream with me, Richard. Just checking everything's working because I've had a little bit of a nightmare my end. Um, the streaming software, my stream deck has done an update and everything stopped working at the last minute. So kind of had to have a mad rush around to try and get things working. But hopefully you can hear me loud and clear. Who have we got in tonight? Thomas, Cheeky Fox, Geek, Motto, Mr. Quicker Gaming, Maxwell, Pig and Bob, Nightbot. Nightbot's always here. Bluegrass. Uh, Northern Princess Productions doing the modding. How are you doing? Fantastic. Okay, guys, we're going to have all the usual features in tonight's stream, as always. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. We're going to be playing our very popular game, Locomotive Livery Location. I've got a cracker for you tonight, provided by me. We're also going to be jumping in and out of the Discord server. Lovely pictures by Josh Farrar there, class 73s, beautiful. Had some fun on 73s earlier on in the week. Um, let's, uh, let's tell you a bit more about that later. <laughs> oh no, I've just seen in the chat, Daniela Evans, your wife. 
Oh dear, my wife is watching. I need to be good. <laughs> okay guys, before we jump in, and as always, all the opinions expressed in this video are solely my own, may not reflect those of any companies that I may be employed by or associated with. See, there we go, that's exactly what I was talking about, about things not working. I'm just fixing that now. I thought I'd fixed everything, but I haven't fixed everything. Bear with. <laughs> This is a very professional stream tonight. Right, hopefully that should work now. Let's try again. Come back tomorrow, we'll do it properly. Wait, hey, all the views and opinions expressed in this video are solely my own, unless otherwise stated. And uh, they may not affect those of any companies I may be employed by or associated with. So, 36 of you lovely people here tonight. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that like button and also consider subscribing. So, we're going to jump straight over to the game. And we're going to be doing a little bit of Spirit of Steam tonight. So, Danielle Evans, boo, your wife. My wife is in the chat. My wife um, has disappeared and left me. She's gone to Portugal for um, a couple of days to visit her mum, who she hasn't seen since before COVID. So I'm at home with the kids, which means I can stream every single night this week. But that does also mean I am looking after um, three children at the moment as well. One of whom is three years old and doesn't want to settle. So if the screen suddenly pauses and goes blank, it's because I've run off to sort a child out. <laughs> but there we go. Okay, what is going on here? Let's find ourselves a train. Yeah, Geek Motto, I know what you were saying about updates. I've um, I've been saying no, no, no to the update, but I think I've got, it's got fed up with me saying no, and it's just auto-updated me, um, unfortunately. So do you know what? We're going to do this, I think, in a little bit of light rain. Let's make it a little bit more interesting. Uh, LMS Jubilee. And we want a some sort of stopping train, probably around 40 minutes. What have we got there? Chester to Liverpool, Lime Street. I've clicked on it. <laughs> yeah, thanks, LaserJet. Danielle Evans, don't forget the cat. She's deleted all her messages. Semi-fast service. That's not what we're doing, guys. Okay. I told you, everything's going wrong. Come, come back tomorrow, we'll do it properly. Right, let's have another go at that. July, light rain. LMS Jubilee, continue. Right, let's find ourselves a train. Um, half an hour. Drive this stopping service from Ditton to Liverpool Lime Street. That'll do. Let's give that one a go. We have a train. Yeah, or an Aeronautics 237. I keep meaning to do that. Um, it's just every time I do a live stream, I think I must turn the auto load off, but I never do. Alas, I never do. Okay, so here we are. We are at... Manchester London Road. We're stopping at Allerton, West Allerton, Mosley Hill, Sefton Park, Edge Hill, Liverpool Lime Street. Is that game audio a little bit loud, guys? It sounds a bit loud at my end. Let's knock that down a few notches. I told you we're so professional tonight. It's unbelievable. Okay, unlock doors. This should be interesting with the gradients on this route uh, in the rain. We'll see how we go. Got to try and master the vacuum brake. Sam Robinson, good evening. Welcome to the uh, welcome to the stream. No commentary from you this evening. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I've turned the game audio down a little bit. Let me know if you want it down some more. That's absolutely no problem at all. We can certainly do that for you. Wait until 0806. Okay, so let's get set up. Reverser to fall forward. I seem to be. I don't know what's going on here. The view seems really, really cramped for some reason. <laughs> okay, fall forward. Uh, my cylinder cocks are open. My small injector, I believe the small injector is in the open position there. Yes, it is. That's fine. 
so we'll just leave a little bit of brake applied and we'll open the large injector as well and wait until 8.06 if we're waiting that gives us time to play a game let's see if this button's going to work post your numbers now for locomotive livery location hey that one works <laughs> Shoddy 127, I don't think the vacuum brake is that realistic, to be honest. Oh, fair enough. I've never driven um, vacuum brake in real life, so I couldn't comment on that. Daniel Edmondson, welcome to the stream. I'm good, thank you. How are you? Uh, Davidoff, no, not live on TikTok tonight, I'm afraid, bud. We're just, uh, just on YouTube. Oh, we can open the window so we can see out. That's a good idea. I think we'll leave that open. Okay, who have we got third one on my screen? Laserjet 899. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. Laserjet 899 with number five. <laughs> what are you getting from that, if anything? It's all just trees. Right, locked doors. We are off. Let's see how well we do with this. Stockport trucks and trains and more. Hello, welcome to the stream. Right, that is in the off position. Vacuum brake is fully charged. We can close the large injector. Signal is off. And we are going. Pure Lemon, hello, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Ready for transport? Hello! Oh, that's better. The safety's cut out now. Much better. So I am by no means an expert at driving steam trains. I do enjoy it, but I'm by no means an expert. So I think I said in the previous stream that when you wind the reverser back, you've got to shut off, but I've since found out that you haven't. Um, so we can take the reverser straight back. Probably to about 65 at that speed. And of course we need to close the cylinder cocks. Beautiful. So we're off to Allerton, platform four. Debra, what is the CSR code for Tunbridge? Oh, Max, now you're asking me. Um, we haven't used CSR for a number of years. Uh, 86, I believe, was the CSR code for Tunbridge back in the day. So the signal there, the you can see we've got the highest arm off, which tells us that we're staying on the um, the main line route. Yeah, Let's so wind back a little bit further, that back to about 50 now, I think. We are climbing uphill. I didn't put any headlights on the front either. It's not good, guys. It's not good. Pure Lemon, only two weeks for the DRS Open Day. Anybody else going to the DRS Open Day, guys? Let's see if we can't get this thing going. Jonathan Didila, welcome to Death Row, new subscriber. JB Video, nope, you can wind the reverser back with the regulator open. I tend to wind the reverser back from 75 as you get to around 10, 15 miles an hour. That is uh, very good to know. Davidoff, have you seen Rivet Games' latest picture? Uh, no, I haven't actually, Davidoff. I've got, I've got a rough idea what it might be. Enlighten me. Yeah, Northern Princess, I think I think the DRS open day is a crew depot. Someone will be able to confirm or deny that. <laughs> Aeronautics DRS is um, direct rail services. Come on, she's chugging away, she's chugging away. 
a Cresty Bridge in crew. There's your answer, DRS Open Day. I've never been to, um, the only depot open day I've ever been to was the southeastern ones at Ramsgate. To be honest, I, I would really like to go to the, um, the DRS one. Or Rail Live or something like that. I think it would be a really good event to go to. I've never been to anything like that though. So it's another one that's on the to-do list. Daniel Webberson, Dudrow, you know the fan meet up at the National Railway Museum of York. When is it? Daniel and everybody else, I can confirm, 13th of August, National Railway Museum in York. I will be there from around about 11am. So if anybody's in York or near York on that weekend, 13th of August, it will be absolutely great to see you there. Okay, how are we doing? 2.8 miles to Allerton. Let's jump in the Discord and see what you lovely people have been posting over there. Davidoff, mind the gap. Toz has got some beautiful stuff in 455s. Oh, how we miss them. Genuinely. They're uh, good units. Gone too soon, I would say. Gone far too soon. If you're not in the Discord already, guys, you're more than welcome to join. There is an invitation link in the description below. And we are in the live stream pictures channel. And you're more than welcome to post your pictures in there. Northern Prince says, I'm heading down to be Dad Rail's stalker for the day. Ah, it'd be good to see you if you're coming down, definitely. Oh, surely Pure Lemon, surely they DRS have got to have a 37 there. Just watching my boiler pressure. You can't see my boiler pressure because I'm in the way. Um, how do I hide myself? That one. There we go. <laughs> that works. Yeah, running out of steam a little bit too quickly there. We're on the level though, so we're going to shut back. Close the reverse all the way back. Aeronautic 237, and yeah, the um, Southern 455s have all been retired and. Uh, slowly being taken away for scrap one by one at the moment. <laughs> Nor Northern Princess, nice one. So that is a distance signal, lower quadrant. Distance signal's off, that's basically the same as a modern day distance signal. Um, so it's not capable of showing a red, it can only show yellow or green. In the down position it shows a green, in the uh, horizontal position it will be showing a yellow. Basically means exactly the same as what today's signals would. Is everyone's sound okay? Mine sounds really buggy for some reason. Uh, aeronautics, absolutely nothing is going to be replacing them, believe it or not. I think they're going to be using the um, 377s and 387s on those services, but there's nothing specific to replace them. Right, 0.9 miles away from the station. Not 0.8 miles, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wind the reverse of full open. I'm going to open the cylinder cocks when we pull away. And I'm also going to pop the, I'm not sure whether you're supposed to, but I'm going to pop the large injector open. Which just means that when I release the brakes, they're going to release that a little bit quicker, which I think gives me a little bit more control. That could be completely the wrong way to drive, I don't know, but we're going to, we're going to go with it. Yeah, I've got that with the sound. I don't know what's going on. I'll see if I can change some settings in a second, guys, and fix that. Not quite sure what's happening with the sound. Right, let's see if we can get this top to this station. Lots of brake, guys. Lots of brake. 
Although we are going uphill. I think the biggest thing you need to remember with vacuum is that when you release it, it takes a long time to recharge. So it takes a long time to apply and a long time to recharge. Come on, stop! <laughs> Yeah. We'll take that. <laughs> Unlock left. So yeah, not entirely sure what's going on with the game there. Um, I am just going to try something quickly. My apologies if everything goes peak tong now. If you're new to the streams, I promise you they are normally more professional than this. <laughs> Everything, everything seems to be going wrong today. Um, okay, I am, I am just fiddling with settings. See if I can get this to work. Oh come on, please! Right. Okay. Uh, I don't think this is causing it, but we'll give it a go all the same. Like I say, come back tomorrow. We'll do it properly. We'll do it, we'll do it professionally tomorrow. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. Um, let's just check the game options, make sure I haven't... No, I don't want to quit. Check I haven't done anything stupid in there. Full screen ultra screen percentage a hundred. Okay, so that's everything is as it should be. Yeah, no, Zblocks. It's not the um, stream. It's definitely the game because um, I'm getting it at my end as well. So it's it's not the stream that's coming through. It is the game. So yeah, hopefully that's a little bit better now. Um, we'll see what happens. Right, lock doors, let's get going. Mark the sarcastic law student, I cheat, I open the large injector. <laughs> That's exactly what I've done for stopping. Are we fully released there? We need uh, 21 bar on the vacuum for the brakes to be fully off. We're just wheel slipping, we're going to have flats on it. Right, now we can close the large injector. Gentle with the controls, lots of wheel slip. There we go, she's moving, she's moving. Uh, Levi Air, yeah, I've, I've done a couple of bits on the um, USA stuff. I had to go on, I think it was Sherman Hill. And successfully got the local up the hill, but couldn't manage to stop it coming down again. So, um, yeah, I need, I need to dabble a bit more in the USA stuff. I've got Boston Sprint to Sherman Hill. Um, uh, I can't remember the I've got another US route. I can't remember which one. Horseshoe Curve. That's it. Yeah. Right. I think the sound's working better. Right, let's shut those cylinder cocks. 0.9 miles to West Allerton. We can wind that reverser back. And off we go. Is that the sound of lever there? I think it is, isn't it? X on this. Yeah, I've got the reverser down to 50% at the moment. Uh, shoddy. Oh, that's interesting, Keith. I've not had random spads at all, if I'm being honest. I've um, I've not really found many bugs at all with this this fruit. It's been pretty good. Uh, no, I don't think I've got Cane Creek, Keith. How's the audio, guys? It sounds sounds a little bit better at my end. I think the game's just not playing ball. Yeah, pure lemon, we can have a whistle, of course we can. 
Right, I suppose we better. Ah, uh, pressing the wrong button. Let's, let's get ready to stop this train again. Almost looks like you're going to clip into the platform when you pull in there. And then it magically doesn't. Everyone spilt their coffee. <laughs> we stopped though. That's the main thing. Uh, Sim with Elliot. What is the best speed to enter a station? That completely depends on what locomotive you're driving, how good the brakes are, what the gradient is, um, what the prevailing railhead conditions are. There's no kind of um, black and white answer to that question, I'm afraid. Northwest Trains Point. When is the July roadmap coming out? Um, sometime in July <laughs> would be my guess. Absolutely no idea. Um, yeah, Shoddy127, I normally cheat. I normally um, open the large injector as I'm coming into the stations. That way, if I need to brake, if I need to release the brakes, it's a bit quicker. So when I get the brakes off in a minute, I'll close it up. I, I think that's sort of almost cheating. <laughs> Yeah, see, I'll close the large injector off now. And shut the cylinder cox. And off we go. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. Should we play a game? Same with Elliot for the 377s. Um, yeah, again, it, it completely depends on the gradient, how long the platform is. Um, if you've got a 12-car train, you're obviously going to be stopping at the very end of the platform. If you've only got a 4-car, you're going to be stopping um, further down the platform, depending on the platform. So, yeah, it, it's really very, very difficult to sort of put, put a number on it. Johnny, poor show from a professional driver. Not professional on steam, I've nev never driven a steam engine. So, put, put me with something else, I'll be alright. What are we doing for numbers, guys? Oh, Max, you've got it, number eight. We'll stop at Mossley Hill first, though. I think that might, might be a good idea. See if we can do this stop any better. So, um, should I be leaving the large injector closed until I actually want to release the brakes before I, I go then? Is it is it cheating to open the large injector as I come into the station? Is that is that a really bad thing to be doing? Because we get incidents like this where we end up stopping because the brakes don't release quick enough. So we have to open it in a way. Come on! <laughs> yeah, Keith, the, the Tees Valley's good. I like the 101 as well. It's, it's a nice loco to drive, that is. That's not a bad stop. We'll take that. Right, what did we have? Maxwell, you've got number eight. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. Let's give you box number eight. Whoa! We have a bit of a train. What are you getting from that, guys? Right, Sefton Park, 0.8 miles. Let's get the brake off. We've got the large injector open, just to charge the brake up. Can't see the signal there, it is off. 
Close that injector. Off we go. Kieran Harvey says it looks like a 700 window. Interesting. Oh yeah, the, the, the 20 keep is really good. I'll give you that, most definitely. We haven't done the 20 on stream. Um, maybe we can do that later on in the week. So we've got 53 of you lovely people who are enduring the technical difficulties of this stream. If you haven't already, please do hit that like button and consider subscribing. That would be absolutely brilliant. Ethan, ideally you don't want to drop more than 10 inch on the vacuum gauge or it becomes harsh. Stop and hard to bring it off when you are rolling. It becomes a harsh stop and hard to bring it off when you are rolling. Got you, Ethan. So Ethan, is, is it acceptable for me to open the large injector as I pull into a station in case I need to release it quickly? Would that be, um, would that be an acceptable thing to do? Gareth Edwards, good question. Richard, in your driver training, do you have to learn both semaphore and modern signal as part of your training? You do indeed, Gareth. Yeah, semaphore... Um, typically refers to it's part of a system known as absolute block incidentally there'll be a video on that coming um, pretty soon my patreon supporters have seen the artwork for the animations for it already so let's see if we can pull this one off any better we're going uphill the gradient can take a lot of that out Seems to be breaking so quickly at the moment. So you have to open the large injector to get the brakes off. Oh dear, oh dear. What I need, what we need, if you saw a couple of streams ago, guys, we had um, uh, Sam in the stream conducting me over the Great Western route because it's the route that he signs. I need someone that drives steam trains, someone that signs steam locomotives to come in the stream, in the voice chat, and teach me how to do it properly. That's not a bad stop though, we'll take that. Sefton Park. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. Ethan, I mean, if you're learning it, sure, I guess, but you wouldn't normally use it until you get the RA. Oh, okay, fair enough. What is going on over in Discord? There's a 375 leaving Hastings. There's someone arriving at Gatwick, Bluegrass. Rainy arrival at Gatwick. I can't click play. It won't let me play the video back, I'm afraid, in the stream, but uh, there we go. Lock doors. Edge Hill, platform four. Let's take the brakes off, that always helps. Who have we got for locomotive location delivery? Max, you have got it again. You are the third one on my screen with number six. Let's play locomotive delivery location. Hide my terrible driving now. <laughs> Let's give you number six. Oh, hello. I can see a pantograph. What are you getting from that, guys, if anything? What are you getting from that? Okay guys, 62 of you lovely people in tonight, if you haven't already, please do hit that like button and consider subscribing, that would be awesome. 
Also guys, I am running out of pictures for locomotive location delivery, so if you want to send me any pictures for that, you can do via my socials or um, send them as a DM on the Discord server, that would be absolutely brilliant. I've got uh, I've got a couple more to keep me going for the next couple of weeks, but I do need more pictures. Send me your pictures. Right, we've got one mile to go, we've got a 40 coming up, we'll be lucky. <laughs> Disused platforms. Something is absolutely killing my frame rate tonight. I normally get really good frame rate, but we're down to like 30 FPS. Ah, there's a 20, no! Derail! <laughs> I didn't see that coming. Stays on the track, it's fine. Bit of a bumpy ride at the back. <laughs> okay, so what we can see here, guys, is that we've got the uh, the main aspect signal is off, so we've got green, but the distance signal is on, so that tells me that the next signal could be at danger. So that's the same as going past, um, basically the same as going past the one yellow. So the, the section signal is off, but the distance signal is on. Gareth Edwards, I travel down this route every morning to work. Simu Velia, also, how do you know when the back of your train passes the speed increase? Um, to be honest with you, that a lot of the time, a lot of the time, that is guesswork. Um, some locomotives like the Class 66, uh, 67 have a train length indica indicator, so you can press that button and it'll tell you when the back of the train's past the set point. Um, on some of the routes as well now, they are actually putting um, marker boards along the track to tell you when the uh, difference, you get like a 4, 8 and a 12 car marker board in certain locations. Um, generally speaking though, that is just completely and utterly guesswork. I can't see where I'm going. Let's cheat. Can't see because the curve on the platform. We're going to cheat. We're going to use. We've got the drone cam. I think I drive better like that, to be honest with you. That's not a bad stop. Well, hey, we'll take that. So what do you think our locomotive location livery is tonight, guys? Have you got any ideas? Would you like another go? Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. Volts, have you been down the York to Scarborough route on a freight train before? No, I've not done, uh, not done, even as a passenger, I've not done many of the lines in the north, to be honest with you. Aoife and I had fun learning Thamesport today. Oh dear, oh dear. Send me a message, bud. Be interested to hear about that. Looks like it's going to be uh, interesting. Daniel, Dad Brow, the fan meetup. Where will the meetup point be? What time will it finish? Liverpool Lime Street. So, large injector open, brakes off. Make sure we wind the reverse all the way open. Cylinder clocks are open. So, uh, yeah, I'm not exactly sure where we're going to meet on the day. Um, I'll be in the Discord server, so I don't know if there's like a... I've not been to the museum for many years, so I don't know if there's like a dedicated meeting point or something. Um, I'm just going to kind of play it by ear on the day, unless anyone's got any, any recommendations. Um, let's turn that lamp on so we can see what we're doing. As for finish time, it finishes when it finishes. <laughs> That's all I can say.
quite a drop into Liverpool Lime Street now. Okay, right, who had the number three? Officially Charles Wilf Boy. Aeronautic 237. You are the third one on my screen with number 11. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. Let's give you number 11. Any idea, guys? Any ideas? Very interested to see what you're getting from that. Northern Prince is hard recommend meeting in the entrance to York Station and heading over to the museum. Yeah, that that's not a bad shout actually. I think we might go with that. I'll probably want to do um, a little bit of spotting on York Station platform as well. Why we're there. See, see what we can get. Maxwell wins is a free till one. Officially Charles 100% free till one at Shenfield. It's not. Z blocks class three two one. Fishley Charles is adamant at Shenfield. Shenfield or Manning Tree. Rate the train spot class three one nine. I think I should get some braking, you know. This is a It's going a wee bit fast. Yeah, Gareth, I think that's something that, that we definitely need to discuss further. Um, try and come up with a plan of action. All I know at the moment is I'm going to be there on the 13th from about 11am. Um, I'm actually staying in York that night, so after I finish in the museum, I'll probably head to the station, do a bit of spotting then. Find a, a Weatherspoons or something for a couple of drinks. Has to be done. Right, platform two, green. Let's try and get some speed off. This has been the worst drive ever, completely unprofessional. <laughs> At least we're not speeding anymore. Matthew, you could wave at the rail cam at York, Richard. Do you know what? That's not a bad idea. I could post on Discord when I'm going to be there. We can, you know, everyone who's with us can just stand sort of waving at the rail cam, and we get someone to take like a screenshot of it. That could work. <laughs> oh, pure lemon, you remembered. How's good old Simba? Um, about somewhere. Squish. Squish. It, it responds to squishy now, that's the problem. <laughs> right, let's try not to hit the buffer stops because that would be tea and biscuits for the manager. No two ways about that. No, oh, come on, come on! Oh, oh dear. I really can't drive steam trains to save my life. Some people would say I can't drive real trains to save me life. <laughs> There we go. So the other thing I haven't quite worked out with this yet is where where the stopping point is, whether it's actually like the front of the locomotive or whether it's the cab. I'm not quite sure where, where it takes its mark from. Oh. Bronze. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. Hi folks, this is not how you arrive into a terminus. No, absolutely not. Um, Keith, is Rail Riders still a thing? I believe it is, yeah. I, I believe it is. Yeah, I think... Um, I think Rail Riders is still a thing, you know. Oh dear, oh dear. Should we do... I tell you what, because we've, we've not been streaming for very long. Should we have another go on Spirit of Steam? Maybe try some freight, or should we jump into Tees Valley and have a little play with that class 20? What do you want me to do, guys? Let me know in the chat. Ah, front of Loco. Excellent. Thank you, everybody. Posted my cat on the Discord. We've got to have a look at this. Cat rail. 
Oh, I've got to find my cats now. Squish, Mimi. Squish. Ah, oh, they're ignoring me. I can hear it. I've, I've, I've got to go. And, I've got to go and find my cat. <laughs> Let me know, guys. Do you want do you want the Tees Valley Class Twenty or more Spirit of Steam? Two seconds. I will be back with a cat. Right. I told a lie. There's no cat. Cats run away. I don't know where the cat is. It is gone. Oh, lots of love for the 20, guys. Should we do the 20? Switch route. Right, what should we do it on? Um, Tease Valley, Tease Valley, Tease Valley, Tease Valley, Tease Valley. Tease Valley line. Timetable. Class 20. We'll do it July and we'll do it clear today. Oh, you don't exactly get much for choice, do you, with the 20? That's... That's not great. You don't get, mu don't get much at all, do you? Um... We got any oh any scenarios for it that would be a bit better? Take charge of a rake of empty steel wagons returning T yard from Skin Grove Works. Forty five minutes. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't really want to do shunting duties. Um. Yeah, we're going around in circles then, aren't we? Rail freight. Yeah, let's have a go at that one. See if we... we I think last time I've done anything on the 20, um, everything went a bit wrong. <laughs> Kieran Penny, hello. Welcome to the stream. We're in. Okay, see if I can remember how to make this thing work. Um, keys over there. Keys already in. Okay, right. Um, forward. I've had one go on the class 20. Set the reverse to forward. I have. Set the train brakes to running. When Lima 241 shows yellow, set the locomotive brake to zero and apply power using the throttle lever to get moving. Well, while we're waiting for that, post your numbers we'll play now for locomotive livery location. Ah, uh, Duck Hunter. Yeah, the West Somerset, I think, is the only UK route that I don't have at the moment. Yep, we do need some AWS. There should be up here somewhere. Where's the AWS changeover handle? I can't find it. I don't think the route's got... Ah, oh, there it is. Perfect. Right, one yellow. We are off.
Well, that's annoying. Why is he not taking me to the front? There we go. I'll be quiet. We can enjoy the sound. Now that's just rolling, isn't it? I've not got no power there. Oh, uh, what have I done? Why am I not getting power? There we go. Too far forward. Okay, let's have another go at that, ladies and gentlemen. I do do this for a living, I promise you. <laughs> right, should we have another go? Beautiful. Yeah, we've got it working. Right, okay, where are we? Locomotive location, livery. Uh, Matthew Rice. You've got the third one on my screen with number 12. Let's play locomotive livery location. Let's give you number 12. What are your thoughts on that, guys? What are your thoughts on that? Okay, last signal was one yellow. We have got a red ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just joining us expecting Spirit of Steam, we've done that bit. We've moved on. <laughs> so if you want to watch the Spirit of Steam bit, jump back to the beginning of the stream and you can watch that bit back. Uh, Daniel, we're looking at 11 a.m., at the either the entrance to York Station or the um, meeting point in the Great Hall, we're not quite decided yet, but it'll be it'll be 11 a.m. Um, but if you're on the Discord or my socials, then I'll I'll post updates on there as to exactly what's going to happen. Socials are on the ch on the screen for right now. If you're not on those, okay, let's try and get some break in. Are we on air or vacuum though? That is the question. Z blocks, Wickford class 321. Renatus. Aeronautic 237. That picture is actually bamboozing me. I have no idea what I'm looking at. And Max wants to have a look at the Discord. Of course he does. Let's do that. Ah, oh, Fat Frank, right on cue. Look at those beauties. And a variety of Southwestern Railways rolling stock. Love the twenties. Chopper action. Kenzie O'Callaghan, this ain't a steam train. <laughs> well, we finished with the steam bit. It uh, it finished up a bit quicker than I was expecting. So, if you want to watch the steam bit, head back to the beginning of the stream. See, I am assuming red ahead, but the HUD has changed um, to say that we've actually got a yellow. But being that we've got a yellow, we just plod along. Kieran Penny, what does everyone think the new loco will be? Excuse my ignorance, Kieran. Have they announced a new loco? I see someone posted earlier, Rivet Games put out a screenshot. Um, 
does anybody has anybody got any thoughts on the screenshot the rivet put out or what it might be one yellow uh, pure lemon what's the horn from on the livery location game audio um, I've got absolutely no idea that whole audio track was um, made for me by somebody else so yeah I've got got absolutely no idea red ahead Z blocks can we have a horn test of course you can <laughs> Every train driver's done it. <laughs> Matthew Rice, there are so many leaks on Rivet hinting towards the class 484. Uh, is that the converted D stock, the island line stuff? Uh, Duck Hunter, I can't show the screenshot. No, if someone's got the Rivet Games screenshot, if you pop it in the Discord again, and I'll um, put it up on the screen. So, 72 of you lovely people watching tonight, if you haven't already, please do hit that like button and consider subscribing. That would be absolutely brilliant. And don't forget as well, guys, locomotive livery location merchandise is now available from the Dad Rail store. Green on the distant, that's what we like to see. And you will find a link to that in the description. No, Daniel, Daniel is open to absolutely anybody, so um, basically all I've said, it's not like it's not like an official engagement or anything like that. All I've said is, I'm going to be at the Railway Museum on this day. If anyone wants to come along, that would be great and we can turn it into a bit of a thing. So yeah, as, as long as you you want to come along, then you come along, bud. So, 13th of August from 11am. Uh, not sure exactly where we're meeting yet. Might be outside York Station. It might be in the museum itself. But yeah, ev everybody is welcome to come along. So the bottom left there for Fat Frank has put in, that is the screenshot that Rivet have posted. So does anybody have any thoughts on um, on what that may be? <laughs> Mark the sarcastic law student, it's a legal requirement for all drivers and trains in World Tears to do the Imperial March Horn. Absolutely it is. Absolutely it is. Pig and Bob, has anyone bought some merch yet from Dadrail? One person has Pig and Bob. And I think you know who that is. <laughs> yeah, now that's understandable, Kieran, no worries. Okay, one yellow on the distant. Yeah, it must have been Spirit of Steam bugging out or something, because the sound... Um, the sound's been okay on this. Pure Lemon, I might get some. You go for it. I'll be honest with you guys, the the merch is not as cheap as I would like it to be. Um, I make I make roughly sort of one pound, one pound fifty on each item, but because I'm not producing mass amounts and it's sort of done as as a um, print on demand service, the cost of the merch to me is humongous. So unfortunately, I can't do it any cheaper than what it is on there. I mean, it's not bad value. I think. The cups are like ten pounds or something like that, so it's not it's not massively too bad. But um, yeah, I'd I'd like to do it a lot cheaper, but it's just unfortunately I can't. Maxwell, do you know when you're next driving down the Hastings line? 
I have got absolutely no idea, I'm afraid, Max. Green. Yeah, it's exactly what I was saying, Pure Lemon. Um, of that, about £1.50 is profit, and the rest is what they charge me to make it and to ship it. Um, obviously, all I, all I do is put the designs up and all the printing and the shipping is dealt with through the company. So, yeah, no, I completely get that. Get a flyby shot, as Joe would say. Red car, British steel. That is pretty awesome. I lo love it. That is pretty awesome. Matthew Rice, Richard, what is the fastest train you've driven? Um, I used to sign class 395, so the Hitachi high speed javelins. But only as a shunter driver, so I can only drive them at like 5 10 miles an hour tops. It's the fastest domestic train in the country, and I'm only allowed to drive it at 10 miles an hour. Brilliant. Yeah, Pure Lemon, I'd quite like to do some German stuff. Um, but if I was going to do it, I want to do it with PZB enabled and everything else, which kind of makes for a more challenging driving experience, especially when you're trying to do a live stream and trying to read the chat and stuff like that. So we have... What have we got? 72 of you lovely people in tonight. If you haven't already, do please do hit that like button and consider subscribing. That would be brilliant. There will be more live streams this week as well because Mumrail is away in Portugal on our holidays. I'm at home with the kids with nothing else to do other than stream train sim. So um, tomorrow night I'm thinking we're going to do something with the uh, train sim classic with the Armstrong Powerhouse 700. There's a 20 coming up. Pay attention. Um, with the AP um, 700 tomorrow. That's going to derail. That's not going to stay on the track. It's good for 40. <laughs> it's good for 40. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be something with the AP, the AP tomorrow. Um... Not sure what we're going to do towards the end of the week. To wait and see. Wolf boy, Wi Fi boy, Wolf boy. Any idea why this loco is called the Chopper? Uh, I don't actually know. Does anybody in the chat know? Why would a Class 20 be called a Chopper? I know we're speeding again though. Double heading trains. Although saying that earlier on in the week, as I'm sure people saw on the Discord and on Facebook and lots of the Gen groups, um, I was lucky enough to take two Class 73s to Southampton and back, which was a, was an interesting experience to say the least with a heavy train on.
Pure Lemon, yeah, secretly live stream your next drive. Do you know what? I wish I could. <coughs> Excuse me, yeah, no, genu gen 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 genuinely, I wish I could. I can't speak tonight, dear, oh dear. Z blocks because they sound like a helicopter when they're under load. Should we test that theory? Right, here we go. Let's just whack it right open. It's just wheel spinning. I <laughs> love it. Clag! How dare you! <laughs> this is not how to treat a locomotive, but it does sound good. Yeah, Daniel, I did I did already answer that one a couple of times, bud. You don't need to be a fan in particular. Just turn up at the Railway Museum. 13th of August, 11am. Just turn up on the day. Everybody's welcome. Now we're driving this properly now. We're, we're doing a professional job of it. So 79 of you lovely people in tonight, if you haven't already, please do hit that like button and consider subscribing. If you have clicked on the thumbnail expecting me to be driving a steam train, go back to the beginning of the stream. We've already done that. We've, we've done the steam train. We've moved forward in time a little bit. <laughs> Aeronautic, the clack reminds me of the safety valve on Spirit of Steam. Go via location, South Bank Junction. Red ahead, boys and girls. Pure Lemon with the introduction of the TOPS classification system, the English Electric Type 1s were rebranded as Class 20s. Although they are known by many as choppers owing to their engines sounding like helicopters. There we go. Daniel, I'm not exactly sure where the meetup point will be yet. Um, and it basically it finishes when it finishes, so come along for, for however long um, you want to, bud. No set time at all. No spad for me. So we're going to put the loco brake on full and we're going to release. Release the train brake. And play a game. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. Wait for signal to change. Request is denied. Uh, no, Pure Lemon, my children, <laughs> most of them don't, I say most of them, they don't like trains. My youngest who's free, he might like trains, I'm kind of trying to force it on him a little bit if you like, but no, when, um, when I started Dad Rail, the idea of the channel was it was going to be me and my kids building a model railway and the channel was to kind of document that process of like father-son time being spent together, hence the name Dad Rail. Um, but it kind of turned out the kids had absolutely no interest in doing it and so I just started uploading other stuff and here we are today. So yeah, no, um, unfortunately not, they don't. Liam Maxwell, what's the longest freight you have ever driven? The longest freight train I've ever driven was a car train out of um, Barking and I believe that was 120 SLU, um, 21 foot 
per SLU, so 21 foot times 120. Someone could do the maths quicker than me. It's 21 times 120, guys. 2,100 and something. 2,131 feet. I think that's about right. Right, what have we got? Wolf Boy, you're the third one on my screen with number 16. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. Let's give you that bottom right. There's some merch on your screen now, guys. <laughs> Little bit of a red band at the bottom. Has that helped you? Does that make any difference? Duck Hunter, do you need to change a junction? No, I don't think so. I'm assuming it's because that... Um I'm assuming it's because that 101's just gone out, so I think we're waiting for that 101 to clear. So once that gets clear of the next signal, I believe we'll get the road to go. Which is just about there. So once he clears the overlap, there we go, perfect. Loco break off. What's our speed limit? 25 still. Monty Burns Gaming. When I was a kid, my parents bought me a model railway, but I soon lost interest. I still like to play train simulators, though. Aeronautic 237. The picture is much less bamboozling now, but I've never seen it. No clue on the location. So the signal on our left is what is known as a running dummy. When we are running under main aspect signaling, so our last signal was a main aspect, not meaning a normal signal, all shunt signals on that route will be in the off position. They become what's known as a running shunt signal, a running dummy, running dolly, depending on what part of the country you're from. Yeah, Max, I can't um, can't film in the cab at all, I'm afraid. It's it's something that I could possibly arrange with my manager at a later date, which is something I'd definitely be interested to do. But possibly when we start the RHTT and SITT trains, possibly back cab footage. I could put a camera in the back cab and maybe get some back cab footage. Um, which is, is possible. Green. Off we go, let's get it going. Pure Lemon would love to be a train driver. I was just thinking, would I have to get some experience with Mersey Round and then move on to the bigger companies? Or does it not help much in employment terms? Um, no, it doesn't really matter where you start, to be honest with you. Yeah, I, I, I would say if you want to be a train driver, just get a job on the railway in any capacity you can with any company you can um, then apply internally for a driver's vacancy when it comes up doesn't matter what company that's with normally uh, once you've got your you've done your driver's training and you're passed out as a productive driver um, you then have these sort of option after you've done like most companies sort of most specify like two or three years um, but after you've done a certain amount of time you'll have the option to transfer to different companies and move around and stuff like that anyway so yeah just find out the quickest route for you and get your key. Come on Debra, why haven't you changed the gradient to one in rather than have it in percent? Um, I didn't know I could do that shoddy, to be honest with you. I didn't know that was a thing. One yellow, red right ahead. I 
I haven't played this route too much actually, but this is a it's a really nice route. It, it captures the era really, really well. And the 20 drives beautifully. Red ahead. Dad Rao, when you were with a blue nationalised company, were you assigned a depot or did you choose it? So what normally happens with that is the companies will advertise vacancies at a particular depot and then you'll apply for a, for a vacancy at that depot. So yeah, it, it'd be no good kind of me living in, you know, say Hastings and then getting assigned to a depot in London. So you'd, you'd normally sort of wait for vacancies at your local depot or a depot that you can travel to within a, a reasonable time. Red ahead. Uh, alrighty, Mason, we are driving one yellow. Class 20s. We were on the Spirit of Steam earlier on, if you want to see the Spirit of Steam stuff. Then, go back to the beginning of the stream. One yellow. So obviously I'm following that 101 that went up, so in real life, if I know I'm following something, um, I'm just going to kind of hold back on my speed a little bit. What I don't want to be doing is constantly going one yellow, red, one yellow, red, one yellow, red, one yellow, red. Um, all the time you're approaching red signals, you're obviously putting yourself at increased risk of spad. And driving one yellow, red, one yellow, red, one yellow, red is also very fatiguing because your concentration levels have got to be a lot higher. So I, I want to do as little as possible as a train driver. I want to um, keep the ride nice and smooth. I don't want to have to think about things too much. So what I'll tend to do if I know I'm following something is I'll reduce my speed, I'll hang back and I'll try and keep running on green signals all the way. So you kind of try and find sort of a happy average. What you want to make sure you're not doing though is driving so slow that the train in front's like buggered off 20 miles away and you're still going along really slow. So the kind of ideal situation is as you're approaching the yellow signals they change the green. And if you can get that then you know you've got your speed about right. Rafe the trains are Richard, will the freight drivers uh, will the freight drivers recognise you at York? Very much doubt it, but you never know. Yeah, Northern Princess, you're completely right. Most um, most train companies do want you to live within night. Well, I think actually it's been reduced now. I think most companies want you to live within 60 minutes of your home depot, and you need to be able to get there uh, without using public transport as well. That's one of the one of the things you need to be aware of is you're going to have early shifts and late finishes, so you're going to need some way of getting there when there's no train service. Saying that, some depots are what they call residential depots. So a lot of um, London depots and stuff like that, you'll have shifts that you can get there for public transport, but most of the time you'll need to be able to make your own way to and from work. Uh, Maxwell, where are the PE signals, Papa Echo signals on the Hastings I controlled from? They are controlled from Tunbridge signal box. Uh, Tunbridge signal box does not control Tunbridge station though because Tunbridge station is controlled by Ashford IECC workstation number two. Okay guys, we are coming to the end of our little journey in the Class 20, which has been very, very enjoyable, I must say. So, let's play a game. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. One yellow, red ahead. So the reason I always say that one yellow, red ahead is something called risk-triggered commentary driving. Um, and basically, it's say what you see. 
So by saying out loud, one yellow, red ahead, I'm moving that information into my conscious memory. You can only hold seven pieces of information in your short term memory. And it's very easy for stuff to get pushed out. So by saying red ahead, red ahead, red ahead, you're basically refreshing that information in your brain so you don't forget. And if you're sitting there thinking, it's a red signal, how can you forget about it? Trust me, very easily. Red ahead. British Ace, welcome to the Spirit of Steam stream. You can see we're driving steam trains. <laughs> now we've we done that at the beginning. We, we moved on to something a little bit more um, up my street. Something I'm able to drive to a, a better standard. Red ahead, red ahead, red ahead. Red ahead, red ahead, red ahead. And we'll release that, put the loco brake on full. There is no DRA to set, so we don't need to worry about that. And we can play our game. Right, okay, who's got the third number? A train spotter from Berkshire has number 16. Well, we've already had that. I believe. Let's play locomotive livery location. So we go over our next one, which is Mark the sarcastic law student with number thirteen. Does that help you with the location, there, guys? I think we've got one more round in this, and then we'll do a reveal. Any idea what's going on there? Tees Middle Junction, road number two. Greater Anglia, 321, says Maxwell. William Andrus, 321. Maxwell, definitely a Greater Anglia, 321. Transport from Berkshire, 321 at Chelmsford. Z Block says Manning Tree. British Ace, a dusty bin. <laughs> We're getting all the nicknames out today. Yeah, Duck Hunter, they, they appear differently on my screen to what they do on yours, bud. Nothing personal, I promise. Right, we've got a 15 coming up going into the yard. There we go. Maxwell Wind Shepherd, Dad Brown, who's your favourite Simpsons character and what do you like about them? I don't know really, maybe Homer because he's a bit... You know, he likes, to str he likes to strangle his kids and he's a bit on the large side, so you know, I, I kind of... Yeah. I would say I'm comparing myself to Homer Simpson, but... Can't be Chelmsford. Chelmsford only has two platforms, says Z-Blocks. Shunting in the yard, shunting in the yard. We'll do one more then, guys. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. Ah, oh, pure lemon, awesome. Are 
incidentally, I'm I'm actually going to York with my dad. So it's actually going to be me and my dad there. So it'd be Granddad Rail, Dad Rail, Granddad Rail. Could be interesting. Maxwell, you're in there with number 14. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. Let's give you number 14. Any ideas, guys? I tell you what, someone has already got it right. <laughs> so I, I tell you what, this has been quite a good one tonight. Let's press that button there. And that is a class 321 Greater Anglia, and that is at Manning Tree. I want to say it was Z Blocks that said Manning Tree earlier on. I could be wrong. But that is Manning Tree. And don't forget, guys, if you want to send me any pictures for locomotive location delivery, you can send me uh, send them to me directly on Discord, send me a direct message, or you can send them to me via my socials, which are on the screen right there for you now. Oh, we're chugging along. This is fun, isn't it? It's just like yard shunting in real life. Red ahead. Uh, no, Joe, that was actually from me, but I was with Richard when I took it. I want to head back to Manning Tree actually and get some. Um, there's a really nice bridge down the far, down the um, out the Felixstowe end of the station, and I'd really like to get my drone up. I got a couple of drone shots when I was there last time, but I'd really like to go back and get some more drone stuff. Okay, we've got one yellow and we've got an R in the theatre box. Stop at location T yard, 900 and some odd yards. Whilst we're doing that, let's jump one more time into the Discord server. Uh, Joshua R. Richard, what is this yellow thing for? I believe that is, it's either a stretcher bar, which means there's a problem with the sleepers, or it is a um, temporary, it's an AWS magnet, temporary AWS magnet for an emergency or temporary speed restriction. What else have we got going on? 69 is everywhere. 69005. She's a beautiful machine, that one. I am a fan. So we are coming to the end of the stream, guys. 72 of you lovely people here already. If you haven't already, please do hit that like button and consider subscribing. That would be absolutely brilliant. My apologies for all the technical difficulties of tonight's stream. That's always the way. <laughs> there will be another stream tomorrow night. Um, and that will be on the Armstrong Powerhouse 700. Um, I'm hoping to do a Peterborough to London service on the East Coast Main Line with that. Um, that is yet to be confirmed. Just need to see how that goes. That is not my red signal. Big Will, you're very welcome to join the Discord server. You'll find an invitation link in the description below.
Oh, it's just like yard shunting in real life. It's painful. Most yards in real life are actually five miles an hour, so you can imagine if you get a shift shunting, it's it's painful. Technical difficulties are also mandatory. We may have had technical difficulties, but we haven't had tea and biscuits with the manager. It's mandatory, it's mandatory that, that I play I... that in every stream to make sure it still works. <laughs> And we were sort of on time starting as well, so you know that's that's asking for trouble, isn't it? Starting on time, no overshoots, no spads. Something was bound to happen. It was doomed from the start. <laughs> Ooh, oh. All those wagons pushing me. Is it not going to give that to me? Is it going to make me go forward? Wow, seven yards. It's the shunter getting upset because I'm still foul at the back. Welcome, Bart, Bart, Bart the man. <laughs> New subscriber, fantastic. Good work. The wagons will be shunted here, ready for their trip to Lackenby. Climb down and stretch your legs before the work continues. Oh, she's lovely. Oh, there we go. There's a tree. <laughs> beautiful okay guys on that note I think we are going to end the stream there thank you very much for joining me it's been absolutely brilliant as always uh, my apologies for the technical difficulties at the beginning if you haven't already please do hit that like button and consider subscribing it really does help me out it makes such a difference to the um, the YouTube algorithms and all that sort of stuff that goes on there will be another stream tomorrow night train sim classic on the Armstrong powerhouse 700 um, I'll put a link in the discord server uh, for that stream and on my social media channels as usual. If you want to join the Discord, you can do the description link in the description below. And also you can follow me on my social media channels which are on the screen right now. There we go guys. That is all I have to say on the matter. Thank you very, very, very much for joining me on this interesting stream. I'm going to press that button there. Hopefully the music's going to start playing. And if I time this just right, I'm going to say, until next time, create, share, and inspire. Do you know I say in technical difficulties? That is a, a classic example of technical difficulties. I have pressed the end stream button. It's turned my lights off. It's supposed to turn my mic off and my camera off and play music and end. And it hasn't worked. Classic technical difficulties, end of stream. Right. Let's put the lights back on. We're going to do this properly. <laughs> oh, you just couldn't make it up, could you? Right, okay. I'm resetting the commands. Right, let's try again. Oh, hey, right, it's looking good. Is it going to end? Is it going to end? Is it going to end? Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, create, share, and inspire. Way!